हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इक्वल मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट्स वेन एवर ए पर्सन इज रेजिंग लोन विच हैज ए फिक्सड मेच्योरिटी ही हैज द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन टू रीपे दैट लोन वन ऑप्शन कुड बी रीपेमेंट ऑफ द लोन इन वन लम्प सम along with interest due on the loan so he makes one payment at end of the maturity and that payment includes principal as well as interest second option he can repay the principal at the end of the maturity period and in the meanwhile he continues to pay interest periodically when due the third option he can repay the loan in equated installments and that installment includes interest due till that time plus a part of the principal so here we are focusing on the third option that is equated installments how to calculate equated installment very often in the mortgage loan in the home loans in the house loan this method is followed by banks so this we will do by way of an example so here is our example the amount of loan is rupees 10 lakh the repayment period is 6 months in monthly installments rate of interest is 12% we shall calculate emi by using a mathematical formula and also by using a table method so here we are calculating emi by using two different methods first of all we shall calculate it by using a mathematical formula so emi equated monthly installment is equal to principal into rate of interest in bracket 1 plus r raised to power n divided by 1 plus r raised to power n minus 1 so this is our formula which we are going to use to calculate emi in this case p stands for the principal amount that is the loan amount r is rate of interest per installment period so here interest is 12% number of installments is 6 so per installment period interest is 2% n is number of installments now we can substitute the values in that formula so we are substituting the value so principal is 10 lakh rate of interest is 2% which will be expressed as 0.02 1 plus r so 1 plus rate of interest that is 1.02 raised to power 6 divided by 1.02 raised to power 6 minus 1 now we shall simplify this so here we have the values so this portion gives us the value 20000 this portion gives the value 1.12616 this portion gives the value 1.12616 minus 1 now we can simplify it further so here we have the value and finally here we have the amount of installment so to repay this loan of rupees 10 lakh at 12% interest in 6 monthly installment so every installment has to be of an amount of rupees 1 lakh 78526 so we can test this by using the table method now we shall take into consideration 
this amount of equated installment and then we shall make use we shall calculate the detailed working so here we have months amount of EMI interest where that has become due till that period amount of principal that would be repaid through that monthly installment and outstanding balance of the loan so we have a loan of rupees 10 lakh at the end of first month 1,78,526 rupees shall be paid on this interest is 20,000 so on 10 lakh at 2 percent interest is 20,000 so out of this 20,000 is used for interest and remaining amount is for principal so this is interest paid this is amount of principal paid so remaining balance is 8,41,474 now at the end of the second month so this is the amount of equated installment on this amount of rupees 8,41,474 at 2% interest comes out to this much so amount of installment minus interest this is the amount of principal that would be paid hence the remaining amount shall be 6,79,777 at end of third month so this is the amount of installment on this amount at 2% this is amount of interest so out of this this amount is appropriated as interest the remaining period will go to repayment of principal so out of this principal when we deduct this amount we get this balance for next month for fourth month this is the amount of EMI on this amount at 2 percent this is rate of interest so this amount out of this is used for interest payment and balance amount this one is used for repayment of principal out of this when we deduct this amount so we get the balance principal 3,46,618 at end of fifth month this is amount of installment on this amount this is amount of interest so out of total amount of installment paid this amount is used for interest payment and balance amount it is used for payment of principal then at the end of fifth month the principal remains this much out of this now for the six months this is the amount of installment on this amount this is the amount of interest to be charged so balance amount will go as repayment principal so at the end of six months the principal loan will be nil so this way the calculation can be verified now these are two different methods through which we can calculate EMI